Okay, so, oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> what's, what's up? Hey, it's Ben and Rainy here from the Journals of Awakening. And Rainy needs to get right into it. Go. Well, because we were having a conversation, and Ben said we should be podcasting this. So, we'll get into what I was talking about. And Ben can get closer to me. Oh, my goodness. So, no, you can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, I was talking about, we were talking, it started with mushrooms. And we're like, why are mushrooms so stigmatized? Like, why do people have such a certain way towards them? And then he was like, because people think, oh, uh, you're going to magical lands. And he's like, I've never done acid, but this is how I think it is. And I was like, nah, nah, listen up. So I explained it to him. And then we got into how I, but I've only ever done it without being able to see. Because when I, because when I was 18, I left my mom's house and experimented with a bunch of fun Fun stuff, not like scary stuff. Fun stuff, and um, don't do drugs, kids. Disclaimer. Yeah, <laughs> I don't condone. No, I'm serious. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, I know, but uh, I was a grown up, and so we were talking about how how I could only see out of one eye because I had one contact. Right, that's what. But we were But the contact about. <laughs> wasn't good, so eventually it kind of just like rotted. You know, I couldn't have it in my eye anymore. It was awful. <laughs> that sounds crazy. It was so uncomfortable. Oh, my God. So I decided, fuck it. I am going without my glasses. And I was without my glasses completely for, like, a month or two. And when I got glasses, I could see again. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I realized was that when I take off my glasses, I can feel a lot more mindful, a lot more present, because glasses are just, like, a hyper-detailed microscope lens like piece of plastic yeah contorted a certain way for mm, your eye to alter to be able enhance. to see clearly and it's although an it's a wild invention like right. good for whoever did that because cool you know, yeah seeing is a lot easier however it can't be good for your brain yeah, well, I, like I said, staring, staring into a telescope all day, I would have a headache all day. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe when I get headaches, I should just go without my glasses. Yeah, give it a go. You know? Absolutely. And but, then, yeah. sorry, no, it brought yeah. us to uh, me not wearing my hearing aids. I am supposed to wear hearing aids all the time. Right? Yeah, and he doesn't. But I've chose not to since I was a kid, and I'm so glad I did. Because half the bullshit you guys say, I don't care. Yeah. I'm just I'm just kidding. But like the scratching sounds and pencils and stuff, the enhanced sounds, I, I they irritate me. They yeah. overwhelm. You, you know, probably so. could never survive out in the wild like that. Or maybe you could because everything makes low sounds. But no, because then you can't hear like a stick break in the woods. And all I don't of a sudden know. you'd be like, What's that? And I was like, gifted with there? reflex. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm like a cat, <gasps> y'all. That's totally <laughs> true. So it can sneak up on you. Yeah, but I'll, but I'll catch it. <laughs> yeah, and maybe that's because you can't hear. Maybe I have enhanced other senses, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, 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 yeah. But I didn't have a chance to enhance those senses because I wear glasses, wear glasses. my entire so, yeah. life. This is a really, lenses. really interesting topic, you know what yeah. I mean? To think, like, if you don't use these life-altering modifications that have been so normalized, would it be better? You know, like, to, or, or, like, are you, like, obsessed with seeing everything, you know? I don't know. I have great eyesight. I can't complain, you know, so I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Well, I can hear everything, so I just Do you think enjoy that... hearing everything? Yeah. Do you enjoy hearing, uh, you know... I listen to ASMR. Oh, God. That's right, you do. <laughs> You're one of those I guys. I like yeah. to hear things, yes. You're one of those guys. Okay, so I don't. I hate hearing things. I don't like detail. Unless it's something as beautiful as rain. But if you're rubbing a microphone, I want to cry and, like, throw up. It bothers me. I don't like all that sound. It overwhelms me. And it's... It freaks me out. I don't like it. You yeah. Probably, like, feel it in your like, jaw. Yeah, I'm, like, hypersensitive to yeah. it. Well, so, like, you know, when I hear tiny how did noises, glasses, you know? How is your vision normal? Like, what is considered the threshold? What makes like, normal? Like, did they just, right. like... Who decided? Scan a hundred people's eyes, and like eighty percent of them had twenty twenty vision. <clears throat> Here's my question: Do majority of people have zero health issues? Like zero? Like like uh? Every, are there a lot of majority of people? Do they see and hear, and do everything perfectly, or are all of us special in some sort of way, and they just normalized it, and made it like they're trying to make us all fold into a 
some sort of an army, you know what I mean? Like, like we're all this way, this is the way it is. Yes, I think that most people can hear and see just fine. You really? got you got men and giants. Not just here and see. Other there are other things that qualify as you know a, a disability, obviously. So disabilities. Yeah. Right? Disabilities I, I feel like are... everyone has some sort, whether it's some sort of a brain tick, you know what I mean, or if it's a physical disability. You're born with three fingers, you know something. You never know. I feel like everybody has something. I mean, there's a few people I'm sure you know they were fucking. Made by the government. Well, they need to, <laughs> they need to do like um like a poll, know. yeah, or but, a study of like two hundred people. And I don't believe in statistics, so that's not gonna work for me unless we have like a live crowd and I can poke them all and make sure they're not robots. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just like spray water. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spray their hard drives. <laughs> I just think that um I don't know. I thought about. If I take off my glasses <laughs> and my eyes are no longer absolutely forced to see things, like, will I feel more comfortable? But I instantly do. It's just a weird, deep feeling where I instantly feel some sort of mental relief when I take uh, my glasses off, you know? You should take them off. No. <laughs> <laughs> see? See? Because I feel awkward. Why? Because I've worn it's glasses just me and around you. you forever, I know. <laughs> it's but just, it's just me like and you. Weird. If I put my hearing aids on, will like look awkward? No, because it doesn't change the shape of your face. Of course it does. No. Well, no, no, it doesn't. My, my hearing aids don't. These are plastic. They literally change the way the shape of my face. You watch when I put them on. Yeah, but everybody does this. No, it. it it's like it, a trend. It thins it glasses. out. I know, because yeah. it, like, thins out my face. Is that what it does? That's interesting. Yeah, I think so. Like, the bigger the glasses, the thinner your face looks? <laughs> Maybe. I think yeah. that might be true, because I've seen them big old bubble glasses, and it just looked like they're on a bug or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I think that it alters the way your face looks, and that's why people like to wear them. But... Interesting. Well, that's fair. I, like, don't have a choice. It, yeah. But I do have a choice, but I don't. Because everything in this world is obviously, like, supposed to be seen this way. You know? Like, your body, you can see things clearly. Yeah. I mean, you know, nothing's blurry. I guess in a higher resolution, if you will. Yeah, I guess that's how do I see. Do you know what 2020 means? Uh, the year? Sure. No, it's 2020 vision. Oh, the vision? <laughs> yeah, uh, not exactly, but I know it means perfect vision, right? Uh, see, of course you wouldn't know because you right. don't wear glasses. But 20 feet away means, and I don't know completely, but it's something like if you can see things from 20 feet away. Like, you can see, like, 20 things 20 feet away or something like that. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's like... Hey Siri, what does 2020 vision mean? Oh no. I told you she's not allowed on this podcast. <laughs> uh, per it's probably illegal. We'll probably get sued later on for having Siri's voice on here. You think so? I really By do. Siri. Trust so me. So 2020 robots. vision is the definition of uh, the ability to see an object clearly from 20 feet away. Others with normal vision can see an object clearly at that distance. 2020 is normal. Well. So yeah. If you have 2010 vision, you can see at 20 feet what a normal person can see at 10 feet from an eye chart. So 2010. 2010's better. Yes. Yeah. If you had 1010 10 vision, you'd be like crazy. No, no. Huh? It's always, it's not 10. It's always the second number. Oh, I so got you. I got you. No, no, no I get you. Yeah. So it's like 20 and 1. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like 20 and 37. No, because I think no. 2040 is legally blind. What? Really? That's it? I thought yeah. it was, like, way higher. No, so you go, um... Like, 20, 120 kind of what thing. What is legally... 240 or some shit. Blind. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. So, legal blindness is 2,200. <clears throat> yeah. So, a person... So, God. I like, you can't even see... What? Yeah, that's like a seeing blurs. A person can see at 20 feet what a person... Pure would blurs. You know? Nothing. No, Nothing. pure bl yeah. Pure blur. Unless something's right in your face, you know? You're like, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, so I I am not, and I'm never going to be, 
legally blind. That's great. <laughs> until I get cataracts when I'm like 50. Don't say that. That's, That's what my terrible. mom got. It's genetic. Surgery. We'll have robot eyes by then. It'll be great. It'll be great. Except for when you switch to the dark side. But yes, we have to, eye surgery. We have to go our separate ways. And your eye has to be like open the whole time. Or maybe we'll bring and the just humans give you like and the fentanyl. robots together. Humans. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll stay in love and we'll bring the humans and robots yeah, together. Maybe. We'll live as one and then we'll all sabotage the robots. Probably. Man. That makes so much sense. Yeah, I went down a hole. I wish I knew. What, I, I gotta find what my prescription is so I can Google it because I think it's like 2030 or something like Pretty that. Pretty sure there's a guy in Walmart that can do that. I'm not gonna pay someone. You I'm have gonna... to? That's not covered by insurance? No. Because vision? eyes, vision, and mouth, ears, and nose, throat. Yeah. Doctors and government, they're a real piece of shit. Your head that. is like, not a medical your issue. Your head is not a medical issue. Yes, that is not medical related. Like, I think what? I know why. Why? I think that it's so close to your brain that it's always a risk. <laughs> right? You know? Okay. Like yeah. It's, so it's, uh, it's next to a really powerful organ, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you got to pay them. <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah, they're like, I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> yeah, because when you pay, it's more like uh, optional, too, you know? Right. You obviously want this service. So, I I mean, I was supposed to get glasses of January last year, but I didn't. And I should probably do it again soon, but... I was going to say, I need hearing aids, but I'm not going to get them. Oh, my glasses are scratched to shit. And I am supposed to eventually go to death, so... We're going to learn... Uh, is that what the Sign doctors language. told you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it depletes over the years. gets worse and worse and worse. For hard of hearing? Because, I don't know. I mean, I yeah. wish I, we haven't gone to a well, hearing aid. My lifestyle, too. Doctor. That's what they tell me. Like, I shoot guns without your Oh, without the last plugs. time you did was I at ALS, radios because huh? I, Yes, that's what it is, too. ALS, because I was grinding rocks with no earplugs. Like, it doesn't bother me because I can't hear, but it doesn't mean it's not damaging me, apparently. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was told, and I didn't know that. I just thought, it's like I don't hear shit. I'm fine. <laughs> it's like I can take my glasses off uh -huh. and look directly at the sun. Wow, that's a really good way to put it. I yeah. like that. Okay. And because that's I'm just sure, not good. You I'm can. Sure, you can pull it off. Yeah, but I'm that's sure not a good idea. when you look at the sun, it probably hurts you a lot more than it hurts me. I sneeze. Well, I do too, but that's, I'm like, like, ah, that, that's a DNA thing. That yeah. has nothing to do with your eyes. <laughs> I don't know doctor things. I'm but not yeah, I just, uh, I think that, why did vision even get messed up? You know, how did that even start happening? Oh, well, that's that's another one of those scientist doctor questions. There's the, the, the string that's attached to your eyeball and all that stuff. <laughs> that's all I know. You got a string attached to it when it falls off? No, I off. just mean, like, where did it start? Like, you don't read about Native Americans wearing glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's true, right? You know, Who's like the, the Monopoly guy was probably the first one to wear a, yeah, a, a so spectacle. Yeah, so I'm like, how the <laughs> heck did that even, like, actually come about? Because it's like a rich pictures, people thing. No, because in pictures you see Benjamin Franklin wearing glasses, right? Right? Didn't he invent the freaking glasses? Hey, Siri, when were glasses invented? Watch, we're probably stupid. It's probably Benjamin Franklin all along. 1286. 1286. That was almost after Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> after Jesus. <laughs> That's funny. People have been wearing glasses for so long. So you mean like Jesus had glasses? <laughs> it's possible? No, I mean, okay, so... His disciples? I well, don't know when Jesus I was. I really want the history, right? Oh, history. So they were invented by... They were invented by... Wow. It doesn't even tell you. It's just a... Uh, I don't know. I saw a national treasure. And I saw the first pair of glasses that was actually a treasure map member. It was that like wasn't a the first pair of glasses. Whatever it could have been. just glasses. <laughs> they were old. <laughs> That's about all I know about glasses. Like, look at this picture of somebody wearing glasses <laughs> to see better. That's amazing. The first eyeglasses were estimated to have been made in Italy. Well, I'm sure somebody in the early, very early age Neanderthals looked through a piece of ice and go, Oh, me see more. You know, no, you're right, though. The magnified, you know. So I'm sure people that couldn't see didn't know they couldn't see. Yeah, but then they looked through something, and they're like, whoa, what the? Hey, you, come here. Check this out. Yeah. And they're like, I see just fine. And then three more people check, and they're like, oh, my God. You know, and he's like, I knew it. 
some of us can't see well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you have a child and you're like trying to make sure, or like a pet, if they can see and hear you. You know, it's just like crazy how hearing and seeing are just. It's probably written on stone somewhere. <laughs> in really bad handwriting because they yeah. couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> but isn't that crazy? Oh, and you get messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's just. It's absolutely wild. It started real, real early. That us humans were literally just born with these random things. Just random disabilities. And it is, yeah, everyone. It is yeah, random. we all have random disabilities. Like, I just and can't, you can't see. Okay, so here's my theory is if there, it started with two people, that means we're all inbred. <laughs> and that comes with medical issues, guys. Okay, let's not let's not lie about it. <laughs> That's really interesting. <laughs> right. We're definitely all in <laughs> Yeah, you right? Know, like <laughs> religion or not, that's just kind of something like like that's... the like the natives and and the Europeans like they eventually were, they were one person, right? But like... <laughs> if you want to get real down to it, we all came from like algae and shit you know like yeah one single celled organ i said it a germ we were germ so everything in the entire world is inbred sam a german eh you look like a fucking worm with braids Sorry. right everything in the fucking world is related and that's why we yeah. feel so close full circle that's why we feel so close to nature full circle yep. somewhere it's still there we're like just an advanced piece of nature is all we are yeah you know what i mean we're only going to evolve further look look at the black and white movies Look at the photos of your great great grandparents. They look structurally different than anyone these days. I look faces just like and everything, my grandma. faces and all. Really, you have a strong gene. But I look back at like photos of my grandfather, great great grandfathers, like on the warships and shit, and they were just like really tall, really thin, really chiseled guys. Like like their noses were all kind of big, but handsome <laughs> you and know then like, one time a woman got with an odd short dude and it just fucked yeah and it just fucked it all up and here i am you know <laughs> five nine you know <laughs> you know took away our our seven footness <laughs> i don't know it just back in the old days there wasn't like a bunch of short men right it's just according to photos and movies that's all i think i think you're and it seems right. like all women were about the same height back in the day five foot five or so, something so i mean you know? the death of our species is definitely gonna come soon right yeah it has to we've already we evolved can't... that much like how much different can we get well i mean you know they call it deformities and get surgeries for it but people born with extra limbs and shit is that a disability or is that an evolution <laughs> you know what i mean yeah it's possible it's odd <laughs> It's odd, but it is. It's possible. We just keep evolving. You know, tadpoles turn into frogs. Yeah. You know what I mean? A tadpole turns into a frog. That's fucking And that weird. happens in no time. Have you ever heard of a sea monkey? I thought those were, like, fake. No, that's real shit. It's, like, literally something that's dead, not alive. You just put it in water, and it becomes alive. It turns into a creature. Where did you learn about this? I bought them as a kid. They used to sell them in, like, Walmart. Can I Google it? Yeah, hell yeah. Look it up. Like, All sea right. monkeys for kids. Okay. It's like a germ that evolves. What? Okay, let's... Oh, my God. Yeah, what bro. The hell? Yes, it's for kids. Look at that. What the heck? Look it up, people. sold as novelty aquarium pets. Look it up, people. I used it as a child, man. They don't tell you a lot in school. <laughs> they're not monkeys, though. <laughs> They, yeah, it's just a, what they're called, sea monkeys. It's It was initially marketed as instant life. Yes! I was around for that. <laughs> That's crazy. I got them. My parents bought those for us. I don't know why, but they were cool. You know, it was, it was wicked. I love that kind of stuff. It's horrendous. It's wicked. Where it's literally, why do you not believe in evolution? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're crazy you don't believe in evolution. I just made... What? A creature. They even have females and males. It's a creature. There's a female male of every creature. Can I use tap water for sea monkeys? Yeah, I did. No, that's <laughs> that's crazy. What do they eat? I assume the particles in the water. Algae. I don't know. Yeah, yeah algae. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, right? <laughs> You're just mind blown right now. Like they sold that. What it's year was that sold? Real quick. I think it said 54. Let's see. Not, not 1954. I was alive for this one. 57. That what? was when they were developed. 57. When did they stop selling them? 
<laughs> That's the question. They definitely stopped. Yeah, something happened. <laughs> They're like, uh, they we got an infestation. My are so cold. Selling sea monkeys. All right, they stopped. Um, dot, dot, dot. Sea yeah. monkeys were being exploited by sex trade. No, there's no way that was real. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> Do some weird shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a whole Wikipedia about it. Oh, okay. So they were sold as eggs intended to be added to water. Heavily marketed in the 60s and 70s. So your parents bought you a vintage pet. Bro. A vintage thing. There's no way this was vintage. I swear to you. This was off the shelf at Walmart. Okay. Or well, Kmart. Could have been Kmart because that was where I went as a kid a lot. I uh, and Kmart's gone, bro. Hey, Siri, do they still sell sea monkeys? You can find anything on the internet. That's what Siri's going to tell you. <laughs> the originals. It looks like there's a website for them. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, get your sea monkeys, y'all. This is crazy. Grow, look at that. Yeah, grow a whole ass species in 24 hours, y'all. I'm serious. What? We, we need to buy them. What? I think we need to buy them. I'm How much are they? Why are I didn't look? Why are sea monkeys not I'm, I'm ordering advertised? Them. I'm ordering them, everybody. This is a whole rabbit hole. I love rabbit holes, but this is a good one. I played with these as a kid. Maybe I got some kind of a mite. <laughs> it's like still going. I probably drank them as a kid. Let's Pe see, people why would do a trend sea these monkeys days. Bad. All there right. you go. Yeah. What do they come up with? Okay. <clears throat> the dark history. They pollute. The water supply. <laughs> no, it said it's not bad for water at all. Okay, let's see. The sea monkey eggs weren't where they were supposed to be. They were put into the process early enough to hack, hatch, pack it to, rather than containing eggs, contain water-soluble dye. Yeah, there's all kinds of conspiracy, as I'm sure. Just get out there and buy yourself some sea monkeys. I'll try it for yourself. Let me and, know what you think. And on that note, we uh, thank you. <laughs> Peace. Why have you made that a catchphrase? I don't know. Peace. Peace.